Well, uh, good evening. We are uh, well. Uh, good evening. We are back to our conference. Uh, it's uh, a nice, beautiful evening in company with uh, Professor Romano Romade, always here live uh, in Oxford, uh, talking about this great painter of uh, Renaissance, late Renaissance, 600, uh, almost, uh, Johan Fermi. This Dutch painter was very famous, and here we have uh, Professor Romano Romade, that uh, he will, uh, demonstrated why his theory is more convinced of the other theory uh, of Spinoza and uh, Professor Michele Primavico. Professor Romano Romade, why? The first of all, uh, thank you very much for the invitation. It's not the case that I'm here in Oxford because uh, in contrary of a jet lag, I had a problem with the, my wife because really on the on the on the on the plane there was really a nice jet lag to to, to see. And, and this was in an aspect added for me because it was the first time that I was not alone and uh, unfortunately I was with my wife and uh, the jet lag was really conturbated me about this conference. Well, Professor, let's get on the point why Johan Vermeer is very important for you. De Fermento, the, the great painter, Johan De Fermento, De Fermento, De Fermento, De Fermento, De, de Wine, no? The, the consideration of uh, why this painter was uh, uh, so important for our uh, history, history of that. And why the uh, the people, there was a lot of people every time that he, that he painted, because he, you know, was ferment. Well, Professor, uh, I think here there's another problem about his second name. I understand that it's uh, a Dutch name, so it's difficult, but uh, I think that you won't say uh, something else. The combination between the, the, the second name, it's not the case. Because uh, from uh, the period of uh, Napoleon, the second name, they changed it. And they changed it because the, the Napoleon was asking to, to to the people, uh, what are you doing uh, uh, during the day? And for example, uh, uh, the, the guy say uh, one man uh, from French say, well, I'm uh, doing uh, wood. I'm going to wood. And Napoleon said to him, uh, but are you also knocking on wood? The 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 guy the guy say yes. And so. They called him Wood, uh, and sometimes the friends uh, call, me, called, uh, call him also Nock. Nock uh, was uh, actually the, the name of the wife. So the wife of Nock uh, and the uh, husband was Wood. Well, Professor, but why you are talking about Napoleon? Uh, in the meantime, we are talking about uh, Johan Fermier and the Dutch people. The second name, when was on the turn of, uh, not the Darner, uh, the, the, the Darner, the, the, you know, Napoleon called uh, John Fermier, no? And said to him, uh, Johan, and uh, Johan said, yeah. Say, what are you going to do? Uh, Johan said, well, actually, the problem is that when, uh, when I bet there's a lot of people. So, Napoleon says, it's a ferment. And Johan says, yeah. So, Napoleon says, do you mean Johan ferment? Well, Professor, uh, this is uh, 
very nice, ambitious ideas, but uh, uh, we know that he was very famous, but actually uh, Johan Vermeer was a painter that was always alone with his wife. The wife, uh, there was not the Gnocchi, eh? attention please, because here in Oxford there, there's a misunderstanding between the Gnocchi and the Wood eh? and the wife of the Johan Vermeer, because it's not the same. The wife is uh, be careful, uh, you are, because uh, I don't like this, too much fermento by the nice. Well, Professor, very nice, you are using Dutch word. Then by the nice was knocking on the wood of the neighborhoods. That said to him, uh, the neighborhoods was, uh, uh, he was not really uh, agree with this lot of people between, uh, uh, no between, I'm sorry outside the house, you know? So the Gnocchi, uh, the, the one that was interviewed from Napoleon came, well, actually, the wife, you mean. The wife, the Gnocchi. And after, came also the wood, and they were together, no wood. And uh, at a certain point, Johan uh, said, wait a minute, this is not possible, because there's the song, uh, it, uh, it will be right it, uh, much more later. The, the wife of uh, Woody say, well, I'm sorry, uh, I was making a mistake because I, I was actually the wife of uh, knocking uh, on the heaven's door. Then Bob began me. Uh, you are talking about Babu. They didn't. The song of Ryder, he said, wait a minute, he said to, he said to Johan Vermeer, wait a minute, because you are anticipated the period. The period that was very important, because there was a lot of ferment behind, outside the house, because they want to know if the, the, the number was righted uh, from, uh, from uh, Bob Bedilan or the, the other, the, the, the rhythm and blues song, you know. And so at a certain point, uh, Johan uh, say, uh, I should believe the uh, lat mamet ruste ik wel verfe. The wife that understand Dutch, uh, you are talking about the knock, no. No, I'm talking about the wife that you are familiar, they say, Lat lat marme truce because the winter must verfe. The verfe that the company of the records they come they say wait a minute why you are calling me no say you are for me wait a minute the verfe is not the verfe records is the verfe the winter it's anyway there was a lot of misunderstanding I think I just need a coffee because I. Uh, I lost my, actually, because I was distracted this morning from the jet lag, I lost my uh, notes, my, uh, and uh, I don't know uh, what was the ending of this history, but uh, thank you very much for the approach, because uh, it was very interesting anyway to, to be here. Well, Professor, we, uh, it was very interesting because uh, actually it, uh, it, was uh, uh, to see this painter from another point of view, maybe more artistic, more musically, and this is uh, this was very the, the music uh, was uh, very important, but I think uh, that uh, I have to find uh, more uh, more intro more introspection between uh, the connection, the connection between uh, the, the painter, the music, the outdoor, the, the verve, the verve, and the, the whole situation. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure every time that I'm in Oxford. I'm glad, uh, really, to, to, to be here. Thank you very much. Well, uh, thank you, Professor. It's uh, a very beautiful evening here in Oxford. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you.